Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you some of the must-have apps and websites for online class. So these websites are very useful, which really helps me a lot. And with that, I wanted to share it with you guys. But before we get started, let me show you first this best PDF editor that you can readily use on multiple devices called PDF Element. It offers you the easiest way to create edit, annotate, and design your PDF documents. It is the best Acrobat alternative and a simple PDF editor to maximize your document productivity. Also, it is a great Adobe alternative and is much cheaper. So today, I will be showing you how you can use PDF element in your mobile phones. But if you haven't watched my previous video where I also tackle PDF element, but I use it on my laptop i will link the video below in the description box and in the pinned comment so just get your phone and follow these steps so first is of course you have to download pdf element in the app store if you're an ios user or in google play if you're an android user so search for pdf element in the search bar then click install easy as that So once it is done installing, open the app, then click the hamburger button in the upper left corner and click on the login button. It will then allow you to include your Wondershare ID and password. So after that, click sign in. So to open your file, click the plus sign, then choose an option where you downloaded your PDF. So I'm just going to choose files because I saved my PDF there and uh, click the pdf file as you can see here your pdf is in pdf element and you can now edit and annotate it so pdf element has different kinds of features that you can easily apply in your pdf here you can highlight words and you can also change the color and you can make a custom one so just zoom in your screen so you can easily highlight your pdf Next, it also has this strike through option and the same as with the highlighter, you can change the color. So you can also underline words and in annotating, you can change the thickness, opacity, and color of your pencil. So another feature of PDF element is you can place text and a text box in your PDF. So you can change the font, font color, and size of the text. Next is drag it anywhere in your PDF. After you place the text in the text box, click done. So next is you can place some shapes in your PDF file. So PDF element includes a square, circle, line, and an arrow. So you can also modify it by changing the thickness and color of the shape. So the next feature of PDF element is you can place a stamp. So just choose from here the different options. Another is you can easily include your signature. So click the icon above and click create a signature. So you can also change the thickness and color. So here in PDF element, it also allows you to edit the text within the document. So click the text icon above and just click on the PDF. And there you go, you can edit the words. You can also change the font and the font size. Here you can add and delete words from your PDF. And the next feature is that you can also add an image. So just click the add image option and search a photo on your album. So you can also resize and place it anywhere in your document. So this is very useful if you fill up those PDF documents. So there are also other features and options in PDF element. In the comments tab, you can easily see and locate your edits in the document. So you can also find a specific word and it will show you where this word is located in the document. So example of this one. So 
So after editing and annotating the document, just save it. And yes, this is all for PDF element. So if you want to check it out, I included a link in the description box and in the pinned comment. I also have a link below for a 50% discount if you want to buy a subscription. And yes, that is all for PDF element. Now let's go back to the video. So the first website that I will share with you is Slides Go. So I will include all of the links to the apps and websites I use here down in the description box and in the pinned comment. So Slides Go offers you a variety of PowerPoint templates. I really recommend this one since you don't have to think anymore of designing your PowerPoint presentation. So just choose a template. It also includes different tabs up here so you can pick your desired template. Next, just choose a template and I just want to use this pastel brand seat. So you can also see the overview of the template here. You can download it and add it using Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint. So just click on it and wait for it to download. So if you will use Google Slides, click make a copy then open the document and you can start editing. So you can also use Microsoft PowerPoint but this doesn't include animations or transitions so if you want to put some then you can add them while editing <laughs> so next is canva i always use this in all of our activities canva gives you a ton of templates that you can choose from like for example, you are tasked to make an infographic for your project. So just search infographic in Canva. Then it will give you templates. Or if you have a project, you have like you have to make a poster. So just search for it and pick your desired template. So edit the template and in Canva. You can also upload a picture or search some by clicking in the Photos tab. Next, in the Elements tab, you can search for an icon or shapes that you can use on your template. You can also add a text and search some specific designs in the search bar. Like for example, I search here some quotes. Just click on it, then you can edit the text. So after you're done editing and modifying it, just save your work. Next is Killbot. So I must say that this is really, really useful if you have to work on a lot of essays so in here it allows you to easily paraphrase summarize and check the grammar of your paper like for example i will just copy this one from wikipedia to show how it works next is paste it on killbot so click the paraphrase button and as you can see here on the other side you can see the paraphrased work also by clicking on a specific word it will show you synonyms of that word and you can then copy and paste it. Next feature is the summarizer. So of course, this allows you to summarize. It allows you up to 2,500 characters. After you paste here a paragraph, just click the summarize button. You can also check the grammar of your paper. Moving forward, so next is Grammarly. So after you open it, click on the new document, then paste here your work to check the grammar. Or you can also type in here. And on the side, it will show you your score and how you can improve your work or your essay. So like this, for example, it will show you here um, some of the issues to be found on your work, such as wrong spelling, the formatting and more so grammarly also has a subscription plan so that you can correct the premium suggestions
that is all for Grammarly. So the second to the last is Symbola. So this is very helpful in checking your math assignments, but please don't just rely on this. You also have to answer your assignments on your own. So Symbolab is also available on mobile phones. So you can just download the app on Google Play or in the App Store. So you can enter here a problem, then click the Go button. After that, it will show you the answer to it. But for the solution or the process, you also have to avail a subscription to see it. Lastly is GeoGebra. So this helps you graph easily an expression or a function. So input an expression and it will automatically show you the graph. So you can, you can also use here the other features of the app. You can hide and unhide the graph. You can also annotate here and save your graph so that you will not lose the information or the data. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. So if you want to check out PDF element to easily edit your PDFs, I have a link below in the description box and a 50% discount if you want to buy a subscription plan. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. Yes. Again, thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!